All right, all right. So welcome back. In this video, let's talk about sorting out the defectives and doing rework. My name is Mark Hong and the founder of MarkHong.com. So this is a very important part of your inspection process, right? And it's perhaps the most overlooked part of the sourcing and manufacturing for most of small and mid-side businesses, right? Having the ability to rework products, it's essential, okay, to qualifying to make sure that the supplier is somebody that you want to work with, okay? And, uh, you know, especially if you want to work with the supplier for the long term, right? You don't want to have the trouble of rebuilding a product every time and, uh, you know, something goes wrong, then you have to look for a different supplier. So, you know, having a good supplier is really, really, really important for the longevity of your business, right? So it determines whether the suppliers, okay, have the ability and willingness to be responsible for the quality of their products, okay? So if, if it's a good supplier, they usually, okay, are capable of doing rework because they stand behind their quality, all right? Hope that makes sense, okay? So sorting out defectives, okay? Now, when you are in the process of inspection, what you want to do is make sure that you sort out as many as possible with quality issues, whether it's cosmetic, whether it's functional, whether it's packaging, or anything else, okay? That's not too standard, okay? You want to make sure those get sorted out. And uh, you want to keep records of quality issues that you have had, so it will not happen again, right? So you are able to talk to your manufacturer, work with your manufacturer, and get them improved, okay? And uh, make sure that the factory corrects a mistake before shipping them, okay? So if uh, you have a very high defective rate, say example like a, you know, 5%, 10% or something like that, right? The next time you want to make sure it's down to 2%, 1% and continue getting better, okay? And that means the factory is consistently correcting their mistakes and making improvements, okay? Um, it will also uh, help the factory be more profitable at the end of the day, which they'll be very happy, right? And it will make you happy because they will continue to offer you even better product. So make sure that they do that, right? And uh, another uh, thing is, you know, don't get all scared, you know, if um, um, the first time you have a slightly higher defective rate, um, because you can always use that as a negotiation chip. Okay, and uh, you can negotiate with your supplier and, um, um, you know, have them give you a little bit additional incentive, okay, for going through the trouble. Okay, so not, not a bad thing at all, as long as your factory is willing to be responsible. Okay, so make sure uh, once they rework the product that they, you will get the products re-inspected, right, to make sure that they have... Um, they have reworked your product to standards, all right? And, um, you know, this is a part where you also um, make pre prior arrangements with your inspector, right? And uh, if, um, you know, if more product goes back to, to rework, right? If they have a high defective rate, okay? And, uh, you know, you need to have this thing laid out in your contract, right? And talk to the supplier and say, hey, you know, you, um, you know, you want to be, you want the supplier to be responsible for the fees of reinspection, all right? But this will not happen unless you make that a prior arrangement. Make sense? All right, that's it for this video. And uh, I will see you on the next video. And we'll talk about how you can choose a good, good, solid inspection company.